Welcome to Marlins Way, where we find Lone Depot Park. The show has an NL East matchup. It's the Washington Nationals taking on the Miami Marlins. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go down. And on the hill in this one, Sixto Sanchez. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. C.J. Abrams in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next offering is down low. And there's a foul ball. One and two here. Way inside. Here's a high fly ball out to center. He's got it. And there's one down. Here's Dave Martinez lineup for the Nationals. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton. And even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Jesse Winker, batting with one down, takes a strike. One out, base is empty. Swings and pulls a foul to the right side. And here it comes. And yeah, that's outside. And it's one and two. It's a good take. That's the third. Now a jump throw. Throw is low and he can't pick it. And next is the designated hitter, Joey Manessis. Here's a guy who's been struggling. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. Bounce to third. Gets it to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happens. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. That one hooked foul. Winker at second with two down. Right through there for a strike. Up and in. Gonna count one and two. The pitch. Fouls it off. Still one and two. And it's second. He caught it behind his back to first. And that's a nice play to end the inning. What a play to end the inning. There's no way he saw that into the glove. No, you're absolutely right. All he knew was the grounder was somewhere behind him. Just threw his glove out there and it stopped. That was pretty cool. And we're back. Starting on the mound in this one, Jake Irvin. Well, no doubt about it. He's going to have to put together some consistently good performances in order to bring that ERA down. Now, he's got good stuff. He's just got to be able to have confidence, go. trust it, and really go after the hitters, not nibble. Trust that his stuff can have late life and miss barrels of bats. Luis Arias leading things off and takes a strike.
And now the one. Good eye in that spot. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Left hand hitter waits. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. In time. And the drop third strike leads to the first out. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Now at the plate, Brian De La Cruz. First pitch oh, just box. misses. And another ball. That one misses. And that's ball three. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. There's the strike. And now three and a one. That one fouled off. Swing and a ball popped up. Lipscomb has a beat on it. Makes the grab and there's two gone. And time now for the Marlins lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Luis Arias. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? Two outs. That one's in there. And the count even one and one. That's inside. Two down, nobody on. And they'll do it again. This one in the air. And that is that. And the Marlins down quietly. We played an inning. No score. Back here at Lone Depot Park. Stepping in the long ball threat, Joey Gallo. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Oh. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Gallo, in his eighth season, 30 years old now, he joined the team as a free agent. Oh. Now one and one. Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one. He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone, Chris. Yeah, no doubt, Boog. He rewards pitchers when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters, just have to really be aware. Don't miss your pitch when you get it early in the count. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. 
Well, he just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. And now up for Washington, Riley Adams. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. And strike two. Just missed. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Here's Eddie Rosario. That's in there. 0 1. Go ball. One strike. That's Just the ball. missed. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Now it's Nick Senzel. Ball one there. Fouled off. He was late. And the right hander deals. There goes the runner. Safe at second with a stolen base. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if he can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. Started after it, a to first. And he won around. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Of the second, Leading and here's the first Marvel. baseman, Josh Bell. The first baseman, Josh Bell. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm, delivers, and that's a strike. And ball one. One ball, one strike. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Chop to third. Rolls across the diamond. Leadoff man retired here in the second. That is good. The right here. Jesus Sanchez will hit next. And that's down it away. Wouldn't chase that time. All tied up. Bottom half of inning number two. Good eye right there. Three one and he couldn't come up with it. 
Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Run around at first with one gone. And now Tim Anderson. And that one fouled off. Sanchez over at first with one away. And that one fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Goes down looking. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him up. And it's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. And up next for Miami, Nick Gordon. That pitch in for a strike. Going to one. Two outs. Foul ball there. The pitch. Now fly ball to right center. On the move to the alley. He's got it. And that is the third out of the inning. Marlins leave one. We'll move to the third with no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. Up now for Washington, Trey Lipscomb. Sanchez back to work huh. and that's in there at the knees for a strike and a strike in there well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone he has plenty of options right here he can go up he can go away he can add velocity he can subtract swing and a ball hit out towards left center field Chisholm snags it one up one down Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. He's 0 for 1. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Bases empty, one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Next offering is in for a strike. Right through there for a strike. Way inside gets out of the way. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Top of the third, no score. Lifted in the air down the left side. That gets down for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for the base hit. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Here's Jesse Winker. Takes it himself for one. Throw off line. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. Well, he had the chance of turning two right there, but I don't think he got a good grip on the balls. He tried to transfer from glove to throwing hand. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big league level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice. Joey Manessis, the next to hit. Grounded out his first time up. That misses, and that is ball one. Mm -hmm. 
two outs. And another ball. That one the other way. That's a fair ball down the right field line. And that moves the go-ahead run to scoring position with two gone. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. So two on with two away. Luis Garcia digging in for the Nationals. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strike. And he deals. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Two on, two outs. Up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Here comes the throw. It's off the mark, and he scores. And it's 1-0. Raleigh gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Here's Joey Gallo. Pitch. Fall off foul. Field two. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Field two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. At the belt and fires. Here's a high chopper. And that chance handled. The flip to the pitcher covering. And they take care of Gallo for the out. They limit the damage here. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 1-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the inning, and here is Emmanuel Rivera. Third baseman, Rivera. And a pitch. And he takes a strike. On the ground, right side. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. And now Christian Bethencourt looking for his first big league hit right here. There's the strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Next pitch is outside. Looking to get the tying run on base. That one to first. Lipscomb takes it to the bag. And that quickly, two away. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Luis Arise stands in. 0 for 1 so far. First pitch misses. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. Holding on to a one run lead here in the last half of the third. Down the line, it's a base hit. You know, 
I was watching his rounds during batting practice today, so impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Next is the designated hitter, Brian De La Cruz. Strike one. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. The rise. The runner at first with two gone. That one ripped, but foul. Owen Chu now stays alive. And he'll two. That one missed. Swing now will look down to first. He went around. Tough call, but that ends the inning. One left for Miami. They trail here, one nothing. All set for the start of the inning, and it's the catcher for the Nationals, Riley Adams. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone. Ball one. Right through there for a strike. Generally, one second, ball. third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Chisholm on the move to the gap. He's got it. And a quick out number one. And now the center fielder, Eddie Rosario. One for one with a single so far. Bounce to the left side. The throw to first. Yeah. And now two gone. Two outs, base is empty. Nick Senzel digging in for the Nationals. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Curveball over for a called strike. Two outs, base is empty. Slow roller up the middle. Throws to first, third out. Nothing doing for Washington, but they still lead it one nothing. Back here in Miami, John Chubby and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Jazz Chisholm Jr. The wind of the pitch. And that one fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. Inside, almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. The one two. Fights it off, you'll see another. off the inside edge two and two ready to chase that time now on this three ball count down in the ball game you've got to be very selective take your walk if they'll give it to you and a pitch and he walked him 
It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Next pitch is downstairs. Way to lay off that pitch down. And another ball. Righty delivers. That misses the zone. Three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Hit on the ground, might be two. Glove flip for one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. Very smooth on the feed to second right there. you got to love that glove toss, Boo. You know, sometimes people think these guys are being a little flashy, but it actually can make more sense to do that than try to make a full transfer. And you got to remember, these guys work on that play all the time, so it's in their back pocket whenever they need it. Sanchez stands in with two away as he takes a ball. The 1 0. Right through there for a strike. Next pitch is outside. Righty to the plate. That one finds the zone. And the count's even at two. and miss struck him out and it's a three up three down inning we go to the top of the fifth and now up for Washington Trey Lipscomb the, the first baseman Trey the pitch Lipscomb. That one well upstairs. Ball one. Miami's bullpen with some action. Ryan Weathers, a lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Number 53, getting loose as well. Kicks and fires. Liner picked on the hop at first. He takes it on his own. One away here in the fifth. The batter, number five, shortstop, C.J. C.J. Abrams digging in for the Nationals. One for two. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about ball. every at bat. That's a little okay. bit low. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Line drive, come on! It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Winker stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. And a swing and a miss. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Pitch in the dirt. And the count one and two. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball still, a one and two count. The wind of the pitch. On the ground, right side. Takes it himself. And it's a one, two, three inning. Nationals go quietly, but they're on top, one nothing. And we're back, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson. The pitch. In there at the knees.
That's off the mark, and that's ball one. In the air, out towards right center. Gallo pulls it in on the run. The left fielder, number one. And now here is Nick Gordon. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Edge of the zone for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. That was just paint on the first pitch fastball. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. One down, base is empty. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Yeah, there's a ball. One and two. Rips that one to right. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. Two away down. Man, that's so frustrating. You hit the ball hard. You understand the situation. You want to get on base and try to score that tying run, but no reward right there and just going to have to sit on it. Rivera at the plate and takes high there. Trying to close out a one-run lead. Last half of inning number five. The next pitch misses. Ball two. And the righty deals. That one misses. Ball three. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove on either. Here's a 3 0. And he pumps it a strike. And he hits a ground ball right side. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the players standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these pitchers did on the mound today. And a 1-0 final score here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.